Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be reacting to Kirk Cousins' 2020 highlights. Um, just looking back on the season and some of his best plays and best throws. Help me look forward to this next season with Kirk and see if he can continue to improve and his young guys continue to improve. Justin Jefferson, Irv Smith Jr. is finally going to be starting along with Tyler Conklin. Are we going to pick up another guy? Is Adam Thielen still the same player? Can't wait to look forward to this next year. But we're just going to be watching and reacting to some highlights here and go from there. Just have some fun. Guys, if you enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button. Turn on that bell for notifications, guys. Let's hop right in. Kirk did move in the pocket way better this year than he has in previous years. That was a dot there to Rudy. Going to miss you, Rudy. Best hands in Vikings history, probably. 29-10. to 10. I remember watching this game, first game of the year, just like... B.C. Johnson. If we don't pick up another guy to be our third wide receiver and we're going to rely on B.C. again, great. I mean, we got Chad Beeb too, but one of those guys needs to step up or we need to pick someone up who will. That was a bucket dropper right there. Dropped it right in the bucket to Thielen. Still got that speed. Very underrated aspect of his game. This is speed. Good comeback there by BC. 43-26. to 26, Just ridiculous, our defense. And everyone's going to say, oh, that's garbage time by Kirk. What else is he supposed to do? His defense was giving up damn near 50 points. Now this game here, absolutely atrocious. I couldn't even watch this game. There's not many times I can't watch Vikings games. This game was absolutely atrocious. 28-3. to I ain't blaming the defense for that game. Jefferson's breakout game. I think that's the first play you kind of thought, okay, Justin Jefferson, he's going to be a good player. We probably didn't, still didn't know how special he was going to be. Thielen. End zone magnet. Uh, you know, I thought we were going to win this game, go to one and two. Our season was going to be okay. And pissed it down the drain. Right there, that was special. Absolutely special. And the gritty was born. Rudy, gonna miss you. Just the most incredible hands. Let me barely beat the Texans. Justin Jefferson is so good. CJ Ham with a good pick up there, and there's Jefferson again. I think Adam ran 25 yards and maybe gained an extra yard or two. <laughs> he was running east and west instead of north and south. That's an amazing, amazing rookie year from Justin Jefferson. Just reliving it is crazy. And there's Thielen again, just loves the end zone. Just has an act for getting in the end zone. Great adjustment on the ball. Great throw by Kirk. And you could see the chemistry already building there. I think it's going to even be better this year, which is a scary part for opposing teams, but an amazing part for us. Here's another game that slipped out of our hands. Gosh. Can't wait for Irv Smith breakout year. Stay healthy, my guy. And the, the sky's the limit, honestly. Here's Irv again, right? Yep. A 
KT again. Good concept there by Gary Kubiak. Good play call. I hope Clint is just has more of those creative plays. Gary didn't always use them to the best of their ability, and he's seldomly used them. And I hope Clint uses them in a more of an, an abundance. That was a dime dropper. Good get off there by Justin Jefferson. Another game that was just so frustrating. The Falcons are 0 5. Just super frustrating. Great pass by, or wasn't a great pass. Good, good catch by Adam. Go up and get it. No, I, I do call this garbage time stats because we only had seven in midway through the fourth quarter. Yeah, the defense has given up points, but Vikings offense didn't do shit until the fourth quarter. And what an incredible game by Delvin Cook. When that play was developing, you didn't think it was going to turn into a touchdown, but Delvin's so shifty and his vision is so incredible that he turned it into a touchdown. Kirk always plays amazing during the Lions along with Rudy. I'm going to miss Rudy versus the Lions, that's for sure. Jefferson doing his thing. Good pass by Kirk. Good yak by Adam. Here's Irv again. I think he gets another touchdown in this game as well. Delvin just so dangerous with the ball in his hands. We got an Amir Abdullah sighting and gets into the end zone. Great pass by Kirk there over the top. Right where it needed to be, and there's Irv again. Use my man in the red zone. I'm gonna say this right now: Irv Smith Jr. ten touchdown, ten double-digit touchdowns in 2021. An amazing catch by Adam Thielen. If they showed the replay, he kind of flips it in his hand to adjust it. Just sick. Jefferson showing out on national TV. Monday night football win for Kirk finally. That was a big time play right there. Towards the end of the third quarter, flipped the field position on a third and 11. At Soldier Field where we always struggle. Kirk played a really, really good game. Kyle with the yak, you, don't, you rarely see that. But it's always good when you do. Here's Adam again. Just so good at getting separation in the red zone. That was a good gutsy call there by Gary Kubiak. Rudy stays in bounds. There's your W for the Vikings. Kirk is pumped. You love to see that with that flak jacket on. Conklin's like, okay, calm down, Kirk. You good? 
Another very, very frustrating game. There's a lot of them. Kirk pretty much played a flawless game. Flawless. Still loses versus Andy Dalton in the 2-7 and seven Cowboys. Love it when they kick out those jerseys. We should be due for some new jerseys, but I don't mind our current ones, but... The beginning of the second half there, good shot. Right off the bat there. Oh, just a sick catch by Adam. You'd think they'd have to stick them on their hands at some point, but just an amazing athletic catch. Great pass there by Kirk, running to his left, across his body pretty much. Good strong hands there by Justin Jefferson. This was a Jonathan Vilma game, wasn't it? Dozier getting pushed right back into Kirk, and Kirk still throws a dime. I thought we were going to pull this one out after that. And our defense shot the bed again. Had to have a comeback versus the Panthers. I think our special teams was terrible this game. Absolutely terrible. Was this the Chad, Chad Beebe redemption game? Pretty sure it was. Say so find Rudy here, I'm pretty sure. Great throw by Kirk. Terrible defense by Carolina. Yeah, Chad Bieber right here. Here one. Yep. And then Carolina, I think, missed like a 54 yard field goal, and that never happens. But it did. Had another had, had to have another comeback versus the one in ten Jacksonville Jaguars. This one thing about this team so inconsistent and they played to the level of their competition. Seems like rarely we got really blowed out, but we never we never took it to a team either. CJ Ham. Another Underrated part of the Vikings offense. I believe this was Justin. Yep. Now this game was the Dan Bay of the game. Should have been closer than it was. This probably should have been turned into at least a 23 to 20 game right here. It should have been at least like 23 to say two more. Well, if he would have made his extra point in his field goals, yeah, it should have been like 23 to 20 after that touchdown. And if it was, it would have been a whole different game. Another frustrating game here. I'm happy they got rid of Mitch. We always struggled against Trubisky. Always. I ain't, I ain't too afraid of Andy Dalton. I know we lost to him um, when he played for the Cowboys, but I ain't too worried about it. I'd much rather play him than Trubisky. I mean, you're giving up 30 plus to Mitchell Trubisky. Tyler Conklin really broke out at the end of the year, and I think those two tight ends are going to be huge for Kirk Cousins in this offense. Conklin's a big guy, but that guy can move too, and he's tough. Then the Alvin Kamara, what was it, five or six touchdowns? That's why you sign Dalvin Tomlinson. Michael Pierce is coming back. Sounds like Daniil Hunter has had a good talk with Mike Zimmer. 
That defensive line is going to be a new animal in 2021. And I honestly think that's an extra two to three wins. That's how bad our defensive line was last year. Absolutely trash. If we had those guys this year, honestly, we probably would have been 10 and 6, honestly, and a playoff team. I like our chances here in 2021. It's a 17 playoff now. And if we don't make the playoffs, Zim's probably got to be gone. And it's sad to think, but Alexander Madison, really good backup running back. He did miss that hole versus Seattle Seahawks on fourth and one, but it happens. Mir Abdullah, the revenge games versus the, the Lions, the only time you ever really see him. Missile there by Kirk. I think this is the Chad B B BB one that's just. <laughs> Jefferson gets out of the way. And... I don't know why everyone's so mad about. No, oh, this is the gritty play. I don't know why everyone's so mad about Chad Beeb signing for the vet minimum. Like, big whoop to do. There's the gritty. Good job, Dad. Good, about 25, 30 yard game for CJ Ham, and that's going to do it.